And I think with the, how saturated the market is, branding is really important because mm-hmm. you know that's what will set you apart. And again, it's not about it's not about how unique your name is or your colors or your logo. It's really yeah, what your purpose is, what you're willing to offer. Um, because business is serving other people, so they're gonna see it with how you know how much you want to serve them and what kind of services you want to offer to them and so before anything i think it's yeah it is important to brainstorm and sit on your branding before executing different things for google ads yeah. yeah this episode is brought to you by the accounting starter digital course for small businesses it's a seven module self-paced course that teaches you the basics of accounting and it comes with the free access to our accounting and payroll software check it out at accountingcourseph.com Hey everyone, welcome to the new episode of our podcast. I'm Fiona and I'm with my co-host Dennis. And for today's episode, we will be talking about the basic FB and Google ad marketing or called as the PPC or the pay-per-click advertising. Without further ado, let's get started. DX Your Life and Business, helping you in digital transformation. All right, welcome to the Digital Transformation Academy podcast. Again, my name is Teres Hilayo. Uh, with me is Fiona, and we give you our best thoughts and tips about digital transformation, business process automation, productivity, and innovation. So if you're new here, kindly consider subscribing or smashing the like button for in whatever platform you're consuming this uh, so that it can help our podcast and our channel to reach more people like you. The gas prices uh, are so high, Fiona. What yeah, I agree I mean, I'm not driving yet, so I can't give my full take on it. But how is it for you? How has it been for you since it's been up? Well, um, I had, uh, as of this recording, I guess the gas price now is about 60 to 70 pesos. It depends if you're uh, in diesel or gas. Yeah. Uh, and I believe it's going to increase again by next week for about 10 to 12 pesos as of uh, this recording. You know? I know it's directly, you're also affected. Yeah. Even if you're not driving because, of course, the fare, like the Grab, the taxi, or the cab prices, and even jeepneys are really yeah. going higher. I remember about, uh, if I'm not mistaken, about five years ago, it went down <laughs> up to 25 pesos, you know. Uh, wow, look at it now. So, yeah, it, it's not only the gas prices, you know. Um, it will, you know, it will cascade into the prices of... Uh, Yung mga bilihin, ano, uh, food, because all these uh, uh, people are also consuming gas for their mm. business. Uh, so it increases their cost. Ano. Yeah. But anyway, uh, uh, just like COVID, we just need to hope and pray that uh, it will, that the prices will decrease as soon as possible. You know. Indirectly then, di ba, we just came from uh, a two-year uh, work from home. Uh, virtual meetings and whatnot, even your school, di ba? So, yeah. but before this uh, news about the gas prices, uh, even the war, uh, meron na talaga yung direction to go back to the offices and face-to-face, even in schools, yeah. di ba? Mm-hmm. But uh, since the gas prices are really high, I hope they defer this uh, uh, move. Kasi, di ba, of course, you have to commute, you have to drive. So, it takes a lot of cost, ano? Yeah, it's yeah. a perfect reason to stay work from home in the meantime, no. Pero yung mga BPOs kasi, yung mga call centers, meron kasi sa PESA building, they are required to go back by April. Yeah. But, but at um, the same time, people have been really like I know it's tough to go out right now because of the gas price. Yeah. But then people have been really like just enjoying i guess or cherishing the fact that they can go back again especially in my high school also i saw that they were back in face to face like trying face to face again yeah yeah csa not i think they are doing the senior high first from what i saw ateneo i guess for my batch not yet but Mm. for graduating students they're also starting so um in like a few months as well i know I'm, i'm gonna be able to go back that's exciting. Yeah, but I, I just heard from the news this morning that um, WHO said the pandemic is far from over. No, because uh, the mga reported cases again must you know regulated. Maybe that's why. Uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, I guess yeah. we just have to adjust accordingly. No? Yep. All right. So 
yeah, let's talk about the uh, main topic right now. As you said, it's about Facebook marketing, uh, Google marketing. Uh, even let's talk about briefly about YouTube as well. YouTube, yeah. YouTube advertising. In other words, it's also called uh, pay-per-click or PPC advertising. No? So PPC stands for pay-per-click. So it's a model of uh, internet marketing in which advertisers pay for a fee each time uh, one user or one of their ads is clicked uh, by the user. So it's essentially, it's a way of uh, buying visits to your sites or sales pages. Yeah. Yeah. So... Because before, uh, when the social media started, um, all you, you know, you can see posts from the news feeds uh, organically. Yeah. yeah. Before, because it's really completely free, pa yung, uh, say Facebook, ano? Uh, yeah. Then advertising was introduced uh, by mm. Facebook, but before that, uh, in Google Ads has been, uh, they have a platform called AdWords, because. Mm. Uh, wherein you can buy keywords naman. You know? So let's yeah. talk about that uh, later on. You know? So yeah, that's that's the basics of uh, PPC. So instead of, you know, trying your best efforts to show your posts organically, uh, you can buy them. Right. You know? So you get exposed and uh, it, it can bring awareness to your brand or to your company or products mm-hmm. that you sell, you know? Yeah. Now, the next question is, um, what is the main difference of Google and the Facebook? Mm. So, uh, if you're a small business owner, which ones would you, uh, you know, choose? No. Yeah. Especially if you have a budget constraint. So, mm-hmm. ideally, if you have a marketing budget, you can, you can try and both uh, platforms. No. But um, again, if you have a uh, low budget, then try first either Google or Facebook. So first, uh, Google kasi it's, in other words, it's called intent-based advertising. So yeah. in, uh, since it's keyword-based, uh, people who's looking for a product or a service can just type in Google uh, as a Google search uh, and then uh, it will show up. Diba? You can see naman there are ads at first. Uh, mm. in the Google search page yeah. prior to the main organic uh, websites that show up. No? Um, mm. So from there, for example, you are selling uh, uh, services like um, accounting services. You just type accounting service firms, then it will show up. So it's intent-based because uh, the user is really, you know, intentionally looking for the, the a particular service or product. Right. While yung Facebook naman, it's not intent-based. No? So, kasi in reality, you are opening Facebook to connect uh, to people or your friends. no, uh, Or, you know, uh, get some updates about uh, companies that you are following. No? So, uh, that's the difference. So, lalabas din yung ano, display ad while you are uh, doing, uh, you know, browsing the Facebook uh, and then from there, if you are, for example, you are a car enthusiast, and there's an ad uh, that mm, show up true. some car products, no? Uh, yeah. Something like that. So this is the main difference. Um, Facebook is um, for broad segmented audience, mm-hmm. behavior based, while yung ano naman is intent based. Uh, is this the same with? So are you just talking particularly with FB or? Is it is it a similar um, kind of system in Instagram ads, Twitter ads? Because even other social media platforms. Yes, yeah, somehow um, has, similar. Siya. Uh, yeah. Facebook ad. It, it's generally called display ads. No? Okay. Uh, display ads because you're not searching. So it just it's displays, just, yeah. Yeah. Uh, displays in your feed uh, based on your behavior or interest. Diba? So now. Um, you say sabi mo like Twitter, YouTube, um, they have their own display ad platforms. Uh, oh. But now we're limiting to uh, muna sa Google, the two major ones, which is Google, uh, which is also uh, the owner of YouTube. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, Facebook. You know? So let's talk about, say, for example, you already have decided that you go for Facebook. No? Uh, and then later on, let's discuss Google or YouTube. No? Um, let's talk about the structure, a basic structure 
or tactics uh, on how to do Facebook advertising. Most people kasi, when they have like a Facebook page, uh, firstly, yeah. you can only advertise uh, with your Facebook page, not your personal page. Diba? So you have to yeah. create a Facebook page, um, either your company name or your personal brand name uh, for you to be able to uh, do Facebook advertising. Right. Now, most people kasi, they just use the boost button every time yeah. you post. No? Um, yes, uh, it can be helpful, but I, I don't think uh, that's the good strategy just by using that. No? Meron okay. kasi tinatawag na business, uh, Facebook business, where you can manage these adver- advertisements that you intend to promote. No? So boost, like the boosting of the post is checked per post only. Like you. Yes, per post lang siya. At the same time, um, it's only for awareness. You know? Okay. More awareness. So it's not really like getting it out there. Yeah, it's not for conversion. Hmm. No? Um, yeah, so it's probably just to build your brand and to establish initial, uh, with you, the term before is fans or followers. No? Yeah. But if you intend to, con- uh, no, if you're selling products, then you intend to uh, convert or get sales uh, it's yeah. not the way to go no moreover sa facebook kasi uh, as opposed to google which is intent based um it is more typical for low price or low end products you know? okay um and then before you do your uh sales advertisement just put some it's ideal to put educational information a, a bit first before conversion you know? yeah so there are three levels because enough if you set up a uh, uh, Facebook ad in a Facebook advertisement platform. No? The mm-hmm. first level is the campaign. Okay. Actually, this this one applies also in YouTube and even Google. No, you have to uh, create a campaign. So there are three campaign types. No, number one is awareness, second is consideration, and then third is conversion. No? Mm-hmm. So yung awareness, if you are uh, familiar with sales terms no this is these are for more of a cold audience yeah no? then consideration naman um which is meron pang mga side types yan eh. if you want to get traffic in your website or if you want to get uh, video views mm. every time you post a video uh or sales leads no so this is more naman for warm audience diba? yeah. warm audience kasi in sales terms is Kilala ka na niya, but um, you're just, you know, uh, trying to ask for more information. Oh, no, sorry. Or you're trying to tell more information about your brand or product. So this is after they've clicked an ad from your Actually, business. normally, on uh, uh, in first stage nga is awareness, di ba? Hmm. May two types doon, yung uh, brand awareness at reach. No? So pag nakita ka na niya, then the next step is consideration. So, meaning, okay. if you want to get more views or traffic na to your website yeah. from those uh, people who have visited your Facebook page already. So, you, yeah. you can put or tell more educational information about your product. Yeah. Uh, or like, um, itinatawag ng mga lead magnet. Ano, uh, mm-hmm. uh, like, um, free freebies, digital freebies information about your uh, product right. or company. No? So y- yung third campaign type naman is it it yun yung conversion na. Mm. So yun yung um you will bring t- your audience to your sales page or okay. your e-commerce website so that they can uh, do the actual purchase of your product or service. You know? yeah. yeah, so those are the three types of uh creating a campaign, you know? And then in the campaign there's also an option to put a budget. How much is your budget for this campaign, you know? Okay. Um so yeah, with regards to the budget when in campaigning, how much should it be and like what's the best way to distribute it when making your ads? Yeah, um yeah, that's a good question. It depends again on your uh marketing budget, of course. Uh, yeah. Medyo tricky yan eh. Say for example, generally if you have this revenue per year mm. or per month, then you allot 5 or 10% for marketing, no? With that 5 to 10% in marketing, how much will you budget for offline marketing? How much will you budget for the digital marketing? Now, if you're okay. considering Google 
and Facebook at the same time, you also have to split that budget. Ano? Now, on other perspective naman, uh, the minimum kasi budget, say for example, in Facebook is about 50 to 60 pesos per day. No? Um, then, you know, like in my case, I'm, I'm selling digital courses uh, and digital products. In, initially, if I, have a, if I have a low budget, I set it at 250 pesos to 500 pesos per day. Okay. Uh, and then another perspective is if your product, say, is um, 2,500 uh, per download mm. or per enrollment, then yeah. you can probably set 2,500 per day. Okay, so it really at depends. Least, on how, yeah, the kind at of least, product. yeah, in one, at least in one download or one enrollment, you already break even. So you really have to like, yeah. really pour, just like pour out your budget here. If if ads, if Google and FB ads are your main um, channels of marketing, because there's there could be people doing ads and then marketing also in the traditional way. Yeah, yeah, that's what so, I uh, mentioned earlier. If you have but say five to ten percent of your general budget in marketing, you also have to split it in online marketing and offline marketing. Okay. So it nice. depends, no. It's uh, yeah. Of course, during the pandemic, which is up to now, uh, the offline marketing is uh, kind of in in a low uh, mm -hmm. uh, low end, you know, because right yeah. now most are digital. Now, um, there's also a technique in Facebook wherein you can do A/B testing. Mm. So you can disseminate your budget in the campaign in per ad set, an ad set level. So yeah. the you can also automate that. Then the Facebook knows automatically via the algorithm how much budget uh, it will put in this okay. ad set or uh, in this type of ad. You know? So may mga right. mga concepts. No? Pero if you if you're starting, just you know, just to simplify, you put it in the campaign. So the next level, naman after the campaign, is your ad set. Okay, hmm. in Google, it's called ad group. So this is where you set your target audience, your location, or your placements. No? Yeah. So let's iterate one by one. So audience is more of the who is your target market, yep. a specific market you are targeting. But um, I think Facebook uh, has a recent update wherein you cannot specify the target people or interest or behavior already. It will do it for you via the algorithm so what it does similar to tiktok i think so they'll just put some tests to several audiences and then uh, they find out it find finds out uh, if what particular uh, who uh, what particular audience is responding to your ad you know? so yeah. if facebook so because of, um because of algorithm you don't really decide anymore yes. like target market is and they'll just um, relay it to you what kind of audience responds the most or engage the most. Yes, yes. It will distribute your ad okay. Uh, okay. based on the behavior of the yeah. tests that it did by the algorithm. No? Okay. Now, so basically the targeting is now gone. You, know? you can only target now by a custom, by a custom audience, location, and uh, placement. Okay. Now, in, in, when it comes to custom audience, this is uh, this is I think uh, one of the best strategies. No, so when you say custom audiences, you can create audiences, for example, based on your email list. Mm. Uh, so if you have uh, an email list of your existing customers, you can upload it in in way, uh, uh -huh. Facebook. Yeah, and then the the face Facebook knows that uh, these people, if they have Facebook accounts. It uh, Facebook will target them. Mm. Another custom audience is uh, web website visitors. No, that's what there's what you call uh, pixels, Facebook pixels, where yeah. you can embed to your uh, website. Sa Google naman yung Google tag na tinatawag or Google tracker, you can embed yeah. it. So every time a user um, visits your website, then it collects its uh, your information put it in the Facebook pixel. Okay. So by doing that, then if you uh, raise an ad or post an ad, uh, it will target those people who visited your website yeah. based on the pixels, uh, Facebook pixel, uh, the, based on the collected data from the Facebook pixel yeah. or Google tracker. No? 
Yun. So, another type of custom audience is also Facebook visitors. So, people who have engaged with your Facebook uh, and in, even Instagram. No? Since Facebook and Instagram are sister companies. No? So, that's what we're saying. No? Initially, in the campaign, you raise your awareness and then people, then you can collect the information based on behavior, engagement, and whatnot. Then you do a conversion so you can retarget those people. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So, doing that by doing that ad set. You know? And then another type of uh, an audience is a look-alike audiences. When you say look-alike, maybe uh, the, that person didn't visit your website, but Facebook knows that one Facebook visitor uh you have the same behaviors mm. you know what i mean so okay. those are localized for example uh fiona you you visited my my page diba so yeah. uh facebook knows that you visited my page then uh since you have the same behavior or one of your friends have the same behavior as you for example you are beauty product enthusiast so Facebook will also target that. Target your friend. Or whoever yeah. who's uh, like Who the same, behavior same on interest and behaviors. No? Yeah. So you can create these things via the audience section of uh, Facebook or even in YouTube where they have or Google they have they have those uh, custom audience setup. So it's really really important. No? Uh -huh. Yon. So so that's how you do your uh, target. Uh, marketing, you know, uh, which which is um, easier now because of the algorithm. You know? Yeah. Um. Another one is location. Pretty much is obvious. Um. You can set which country, which province you'd like to show your ads to show. You know. So yeah, uh, yeah it's very self descriptive. In placement, the man, it's like, uh, where do you want to place it? Is it only in news feed in Facebook, or you also want to put it in Instagram? News feed. Do you want to put it Instagram stories? Do you want to put it in in uh, website links or blogs? Uh, Does it so, vary also, like how much it will cost with the place? Yes, then? yes, exactly. So if you have a bigger budget, of course you can place everything, no. But mm -hmm. um, it depends also in your ad uh, ad copy and ad photo, mm -hmm. because right. uh, if you are if your ad copy is land uh, landscape, then Ideally, don't put it in stories because stories is in uh, portrait mode, diba? Yeah. So, yeah, but if you are if you have a budget constraint, just focus first in news feeds. Uh, okay. Ayun. So, um, after the placement, uh, Google, sa Google lang to, no? in Google search, you can put keywords. So, yung keywords, for example, is uh, uh, best beauty, makeup, uh, in the Philippines, diba? you can use by that keyword. So every time it shows up in a Google search, then it will be on the top uh, line of the Google search. Diba? So, of course, obviously, don't use short keywords, generic keywords, because people have already bought that. A lot of people already bought that. So, How somehow, should it be? May tinatawag kasi na long tail keyword eh. For example, in, let's use the, the beauty product. No? Um, say, uh, a makeup, uh, makeup for uh, dark complexion. Mm. You don't just use makeup. No? So you, you, would, you want to analyze what are the different market segments. Okay, so if, say for example, you want to target people who has have a darker complexion, then use that keyword, diba? makeup or lipstick for a dark complexion, people, something like those. You know? So um, you'll notice in meron kasing Google Keyword Inspector that you, you can analyze the keyword if there are volumes of searches for that particular keyword. And yeah. if the competition is high, if the competition is high, obviously the price of that keyword is also high. Mm. So you try to look or optimize your keyword uh, based on your uh, target market and uh, your long tail, the long tail, tail keyword. Mm. Okay. The next is, uh, so you know the ad set or ad group. No? So you can create multiple ad sets in one campaign. Yeah. 
So especially if you're ad- testing your ad, they have the A-B testing. No? Now, the next level after that, of course, you know, your actual ad advertisement, the one that shows up in the feed. Like, uh, is, is, so it's important to uh, put uh, good photos, videos, uh, ad copy, and uh, call to action. Yeah, what would be the best um, call to action that, you know, will actually make them engage with it, not just like look at it and ignore it, something that will, or personally for you, as a call to action that you like to make in your ads? Yeah, um, it's a little bit tricky, you know, because a lot of people are also, you know, um, discouraged or what yeah. them, turned off with advertisements, right? Yeah. So if you can see their buy or if they'll see, learn more, um, then... Then um, it doesn't really work as much. Exa- exactly. So um, some people, what they do is that, uh, you know, they, they post uh, educational information. So uh-huh. instead of putting... Uh, what you call this, these buttons, um, they just put a link to show that educational information. Or for example, um, if you are uh, raising awareness first or consideration, you can put in, in the lead magnet. Uh, it's called lead magnet because um, you will uh, provide free digital products or like FAQs, for top 10 uh, tips for uh, beauty and whatnot. Yeah. You know? so, I think something people are doing also now is really bringing the entertainment in it. So some people, yeah. I, I see on social media, there are ads that are presented that doesn't look like ads. So exactly. it can either look like a, it's like a meme or just um, something entertaining and then that yeah. will just kind of draw them in to click on it. And Sometimes what they do, they, they put a, a, you know, a real blog entry yeah. mm-hmm. and then at the bottom that's when they put the yes. the product no inside the web blog not really on the uh, facebook advertisement you know? so those are the techniques that you can do of course a good ad copy is uh is also important you know May maraming mga samples like finally this uh, uh this discover this product as the, this will help you yeah, um, yeah uh, grow your revenue in two months something like those those are very important and, and there, there's also a facebook ad library just google it then you can find you know templates on yeah. how people are doing it mm-hmm. so instead of thinking the way also is to um as you analyze the algorithm you get to know like how you want to present the copy so it can either be very straightforward and short Mm-hmm. Or if people really appreciate, you know, um, full information uh, for your products. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's there's really no um, a standard way of doing it. It's really yeah. a, a combination of the ad copy, the photo, you know, yeah. the call to action. It's really a combination of those. Because some people, they make a lot of you know, uh, combinations yeah. and test it. Kung sino yung mag-perform best, you know. Mm-hmm. And again, yung Facebook ad library nga, you just type a particular company, then you'll see their existing ads. Yeah. Yeah. Siguro yung similar products that you have or your competitors try to analyze also how they present their copy, their videos, their photos. And then just try try and copy it. And, uh, you know, make some experimentation and combinations. No? Mm-hmm. So yun. Yun lang yun medyo expensive part of ad, of of advertising online advertising because uh it's you have to test it as well. Yes. Yeah. Ayun, so siguro I can give also some use cases no. Um for example in kanina ginagsasabi ko digital products like uh, a digital course no which which I do an accounting course no. What I did kasi in the beginning is I, I raised my Facebook personal brand uh-huh. and then from my Facebook personal brand, I bring awareness. So I launched some uh, uh, awareness videos, educational videos and whatnot. So I can gain video views. By, by the way, Facebook is also capturing video views who uh, mm-hmm. which people viewed your... Uh, your for example, I post... Uh, uh, a video, a video about how to manage your cash flow. Yeah. So if I get ten thousand views from there, from a, from a video view campaign, um, then it's already in my uh, funnel. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Meaning, I can retarget them, create an audience of uh, video views. People have viewed my video in the past 90 days or 25%. Because not all people naman are are uh, watching everything 100%, diba? So you can target mm. people who watch 25% of your videos yeah. or 50% of your videos. No? So those techniques are, are very important. Ano? So when I post my conversion ad, then I can retarget them. Mm. Uh, these are my, you know, so, and then put a good, very good sales page, a one pager uh, explaining your product or services, then you get uh, conversions. Now, another use case is uh, if you are selling uh, retail products like shoes, apparel, and whatnot. Ano, um, my advice is say you post awareness first, you know, brand awareness or consideration, like a blog about the benefits of of your of using your products. Sorry, it's not really a, like a hard hard sell uh, approach. No, more of really. <laughs> Uh, saying your the purpose, uh, the benefits of using your product, and then when you get traction from those videos, blogs, then you can do uh, retargeting uh, yeah. through a conversion campaign. You know? It mm -hmm. really works. No, it really lead magnet is also uh, work. You have to set your lead magnet because you have to set up in your website um, before they can download your freebie. You have they have to put in their email address, mm. so you can also. Uh, grow your email audience or email list. Yeah. So that's okay. one technique. Kasi maganda rin may email, maybe later on we can discuss about it. A benefit of email marketing is that it's free. Once you get uh, the the email list, then you can already email them anytime for free. Yeah. Mm, not really for free because I think in mga email marketing platforms like MailChimp, They uh they have to pay on a monthly basis if you reach a certain number of email lists, you know? yeah. But uh, you don't have to, you know, pay on every campaign. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, so yeah, do you have any any more questions? Um, the questions that I have is how can you or how do you think you can build a good team for this, especially if you're a growing business. Mm -hmm. Like I know that this is, you know, handled by the marketing team as well, or your marketing department, but how will you be able to, I guess, guide them and what will be the best way to build a team that can really provide a good like, workflow for, you know, doing ads and stuff. Yeah. 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 That's a good question. Um, because even I don't have a team. <laughs> I used to have a team uh, pre-pandemic, no. Um, yeah. But I figured since um, uh, y you know at the moment uh, my time is also underutilized since I'm working from home. I save time from the, uh, driving and uh, waiting, yeah. you know. So I decided to do it myself, of course, with you. And I, I have uh, one or uh, no two marketing assistants who help yeah. me, you know. Yeah. But. Um, Yeah, if you intend to have like your own CMO or chief marketing officer, uh, actually it's easy. Uh, you just get their portfolio, which companies they work uh, with. Because there's a difference between a person who's running the marketing or just, you know, uh, executing the strategy. You know, when you say running the marketing, that person is should have the accountability And uh, should really run, you know, uh, you know, create ideas uh, and uh, create brand um, purpose, something like those. You know? And again, uh, what are the sample work that he or she did in the past five years, ten years? And uh, you just look at the, the companies they or he or she worked for before. And if you saw that that comp that company is... Uh, you know, uh, known for uh, marketing strategies, then that person is really, you know, the one you're looking for. You know? A lot of people think, are, you know, um, they are offering services like Facebook ads and uh -huh. uh, social media management. But in reality, if they you look at their pages, then there's no traction. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Somehow, organically, it's difficult, but at least... Um, Um, they they have uh, uh, a proof of revenue growth or revenue sales generation. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's true. 
yon so from there then you you discuss with that person if uh, you know if you need to hire people in creative because it is a, a diff- different animal uh, copywriter something like yeah. those no but generally if you need a person who will run the marketing for you then uh, you have to look at their experience and their portfolio no that's it. Uh, another um maybe last question then oh. for all small businesses who are tuning in and is looking into doing FB or Google ads, um, how do you think is like, what is your, what can you say to them with how much effort, I guess, they should put into it, especially in this time? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It takes a lot of time when you are doing uh, marketing yourself. No, um, It really depends yeah. on what your business status is. No. Like, for example, I have the liberty to do these things because I have an organization who pretty much uh, run by itself in terms of uh, operations and, um, uh, you know, uh, partners or managers who's, uh, you know, helping me execute uh, our services or deliver our services. Yeah. Now, if you're juggling uh, between sales if you're an entrepreneur or small business owner who, who's juggling between sales uh, delivery of course uh, and uh, even the back office work or admin work then it's really difficult to make time for uh, marketing right? or yeah. doing these things no? it's, you really have to balance it if for example uh, yeah it's more of it's in, in, in any case in any situation in business it's all about balancing and juggling these things uh Kasi, you know, yes, you do have uh, existing customers right now, mm-hmm. but uh, there's there a guarantee that you have you will have these customers in next month, in the next yep. three months. So um, that promotes uh, worry, you know. So really have to make efforts to do your branding because you want if you want to secure your future, mm-hmm. right? When talking about branding, uh, to me, at the end of the day, uh, yes, you do Google, you do you do Facebook ads, but at the end of the day, it's all about branding. Brand is king. No? That's true. Um, That's people true. these days, they don't look for uh, the best sneakers. They don't look for uh, shoes or sneakers. Diba? They don't look for, uh, uh, what do you call this, um, the best uh, laptop. No? What they look for is Nike. Yeah. Diba? What they look for is Apple when they do yeah. their, their Google search. So it's a brand and it's more of branding talaga. And it's a long shot or long effort no? Long time yeah. effort. It, you cannot establish a brand overnight. Diba? Sure. So and how you do your branding, of course, you have to have a mission and vision, your purpose as a company or your brand. It's not about logos. It's not about uh, the the fancy names and whatnot. It's more yeah. of really, you know, um, if people see you as authentic uh, and you are here for the long term, then uh, that's where you establish your brand. You know? Yeah. And I think with the, how saturated the market is, branding is really important because, mm-hmm. you know, that's what will set you apart. And again, it's not about... It's not about how unique your name is or your colors or your logo. It's really, yeah, what your purpose is, what you're willing to offer. Um, Because business is serving other people. So they're going to see it with how, you know, how much you want to serve them and what kind of services you want to offer to them. And so before anything, I think it's, yeah, it is important to brainstorm and sit on your branding before executing different things for Google Ads. Exactly, yeah. 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 Yeah, so I can I think that's it uh, for me now. That's um, now. By the way, uh, in our previous episodes, we talk about website development, we talk about e-commerce. So I guess uh, right timing now because after uh, your website and after your e-commerce page, then the next step is to really uh, you know promote them using uh, Facebook ads, Google ads, or YouTube ads, um, or even TikTok. You no. Know, uh, up to you how you want to you know utilize your budget and efforts but uh, i guess that this one hope uh, i hope pro- uh, this one provides uh, value 
no, um, yeah. in this episode. So yeah, you guys can check out uh, a lot more of our previous episodes in our channel. We have more about e-commerce and productivity if you guys want to look back at it. But yeah, that's it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, if it's your first time checking out our podcast, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this wherever platform you're consuming this from. Like this video and even comment down below any other suggestions you guys or content you want to see in the future. But yeah, thank you for tuning in and we'll see on the next one yeah in the next episode we can probably talk about uh, email marketing uh, and some yeah. others like uh, social media management um yeah i'm excited about that um again yeah. uh, stay tuned because uh on, on top of podcast i also have a youtube channel where i discuss yeah. different uh, business process automation tools like crm office software and whatnot um yeah so that is it for now the extra life in business have a great day